Hey you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is McKenna if you're new here and today we are going to do a favorites video. I would call this a monthly favorites except for we haven't done a favorites video in I think over a year. So this is kind of like a let's catch up to speed on everything that I'm obsessed with lately and then we can go from there and if you guys like this video then I'll continue to make monthly favorites going forward. So just let me know if you actually want to see that. But I have so much stuff here, so we're gonna have to dive in immediately. What better way to start than to start with beauty favorites? So we're gonna go into all of the things that I've been loving for like skincare, shower, hair, makeup, etc. Starting off with one of my absolute favorite combos at the moment. I have always been obsessed with Lash Paradise, but lately this has taken over. This combo right here is from Lancome. It is a little bit pricey. This is their lash primer and this is their mascara. These together just, they are so good. And I will say that I feel like my Lash Paradise from L'Oreal runs out a lot faster, dries out a lot faster. I have been using these for a very long time, so there must be more product in it. I'm not really sure, but I have so much stuff. I don't wanna talk about a product too long. Everything will be linked below if you're interested in anything, and that's the only time I'm gonna say it throughout this video. If there's anything that you want, I will link it below, and I'm not gonna spend too much time on each piece because we gotta rapid fire these things out. So right here, such a good, Next up, this duo dipstick is so good. I don't know. Oh, this is in Starlit. It's a bronzy, glowy combo. So on one side, you have a bronzer stick. And on the other side, you have a blush, which is so good for traveling. I just went out of town this last weekend. This was the only combo that I brought for blush and bronzer. It's just compact, easy to take. And I get so many compliments on this blush when I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it right now, which I feel like I might be like exposed a little bit so you can't really tell, but people in my videos ask me about this all the time too. So if you're interested in this, I highly recommend. It's very good from Dibs and the bronzer side smells like chocolate, like cocoa. It's really good. Speaking of Dibs, this is their double makeup brush. I think one side is for like bronzer, the other side is for blush, but I just use it for whatever the heck I want and it's so good. I love how it feels on my skin. I feel like it just like applies my bronzer so good and also my blush or anything else that I'm trying to apply, it works very well. I have talked about this probably in every single one of my vlogs, but this is what I use on my eyebrows. This has got to be, and it's like brow, lash, hair, whatever you want. It's got a little wand that is so good. You could just use it to comb back any flyaways when you're doing a slicked back bun. I use it on my eyebrows too. And it's just so convenient and in a tube. I just recommended this to my sister because she was looking for something to get her bangs out of her face. She also got the got to be gel in a tube and she already loves it. Um, just like I do, I'm obsessed. I don't really need anything extra than just this because I don't have bangs, but for her bangs, she uses the actual gel to keep it out of her face. And this to tame any flyaways. My concealer lately has been probably my all time favorite. This is the Natasha Denona. I have never tried anything from this makeup brand. This is the first thing that I have tried. And this concealer, the consistency is so good. I feel like if you want it a little bit thinner or lighter, you can just add a little bit of moisturizer to it and it just spreads so flawlessly. I feel like it's really good to, I mean, I don't wear a lot of foundation. This is the only thing that I wear as a base on my face. And this is so good at concealing, brightening up my under eyes, I feel like it looks very natural, so you can also layer it up if you want full coverage. I do believe that it is supposed to be a full coverage foundation, but I don't use that much, and I feel like it kind of works both ways. So for somebody who doesn't like wearing a whole lot of makeup, this has been a game changer for me. I love it. Last beauty product or makeup product. Last makeup product that I want to talk about is this Milk Makeup, the jelly blush that I feel like so many people talk about. This is really good. I haven't had it for that long. It doesn't smell like anything. I don't know why every time I open this, I feel like I have to smell it. But the consistency is just, it is so bizarre. I don't know how else to describe it, but there is the color on the back of my hand. It's very cooling too, to the touch, but you can build it up if you want. You could, I use it as a lip tint, on my as blush. I just feel like this is really good and I've been loving it. It's really fun. It's been trending on TikTok, so you probably have already seen this, but I really like it. And the color that I have is in the shade Chill, and I feel like it's just a really fun, bright color. This probably is good for springtime, but I feel like these bright colors just look really good on my skin tone because I haven't been self-tanning lately. I haven't seen the sun lately, 
and I feel like it just adds a lot of color to my face that I need. I'm not wearing it today, but I have worn this a ton the last few weeks. To wrap up all the makeup, this is the Ulta version of the Beauty Blender. And I love the consistency of this. I have been using the Real Technique Beauty Blender for like quite some time, and I love that one. But for some reason, this consistency of the Sephora, did I say Ulta? For some reason, the consistency of the Sephora Beauty Blender is just unmatched. It is so good. Let's see if I can take a little bit of this off of my hand and put it on my cheeks. It's just so much softer. It comes really small, and when you get it wet, it gets bigger. But I don't know why I have just been obsessed with this little beauty blender and I will not let Leela touch it because she has ruined all of my other beauty blenders and this is the thing that she wants the most because I won't give it to her. But this was a little bit more money and it was totally worth it in my opinion. I just, this is the only thing that I want to use. I never grab towards my real technique one anymore. I just feel like at the moment this one is the one. Let's go in to hair care. I have been on a hair journey. My hair is not that much longer, but I just got it done and just got it cut and I feel like the ends have been chopped off. So hopefully from here on out, I can keep my hair a little bit healthier. But in order to help me on that hair journey, I have been using the Babes Densifying Hair Serum. I love this. I already know that I love the brand Babe Lash because I have used their lash and brow serum and it works like magic. So I already knew that I was gonna love this before I tried it and without a doubt, it did not let me down. I love this and I just feel like my hair is getting denser, especially being postpartum. I was losing a lot of hair around that three month mark and then now I'm at the four month mark. Obviously I am not gonna see a ton of length yet because I've just started this journey. I've been using this for a few months but I feel like my hair is not falling out like it was. I feel like it's denser than what it was. I have always had thick hair, but for some reason, I felt like my hair was thinning postpartum right around here. I was getting a lot of breakage and stuff like that. And I just feel like this is making my hair thicker and I'm so excited to see where it takes my hair lengthwise over the next year. But in terms of thickness, I have like a lot of baby hairs coming in, which I feel like is pretty early to have baby hairs coming in postpartum. So I really do think that this is the cause of that. I'm also going to start taking a hair supplement for my hair and I'm also really excited about that. If I do end up loving it, I will talk more about it, but I don't wanna talk about it too much until I know I love it. So if you're looking for something for your hair though, Babe Lash is so good and their eyelash serum and their eyebrow serum is also top notch. So if you're looking into that too, I highly recommend that. I've talked about it before, so it's not in today's favorites, even though there's other things I've talked about before, but this is so good. Olive and June is always a brand that I rave about because it is the only thing I put on my nails. I don't have my nails painted today because I was gonna do it during nap time, but I know nap time is very short lived. And I was like, oh, let's get this video filmed and up. <laughs> And then if I have time and they're still sleeping, I will do my nails. But their press on nails are unmatched. They have sticker press on nails that I feel like don't damage your nails at all. But even their glue press on nails are so good. And if you take them off properly, they won't damage your nails. I tend to just pick and rip them off. So sometimes they can do a little bit more to my nails than I want them to do. But if you leave them on, I can leave them on for like two, 10 days or longer sometimes. I think there was one time I got two weeks out of them. A couple times I've gotten two weeks out of them. And usually I get sick of the color and I wanna take them off before then. So I'll at least leave them on for a week. And then if I wanna change them out, I will have to manually take them off. And if I didn't do that, they would 100% last 10 to like 14 days. But I usually wear the length medium and those are kind of my favorite go-to lengths, except for being a mom. Sometimes I can't wear longer nails or sometimes I just don't want press on nails on. And that is when I will use their long lasting nail polish. I love how easy this is to get off. It's just like a couple wipes of nail polish remover and it's off, but then the color is like super rich and it's just really good. So I love Olive in June. You can get this at Target. It is so good. All of their products are so good. Anyways, Olive and June Press on Nails and their nail polish, so good. Back to the topic of hair. This is a shampoo that I have probably used for, I wanna say almost 10 years. I have used this shampoo for a very long time. This is the Purology um, Hydrate Sheer Shampoo and Conditioner. I have jumped around, I should say, between shampoos and conditioners, and there's so many out there that I do love, but for some reason, I always come back to this one, and I will say, I really didn't get the benefits of it until I started double cleansing. So with this, the shampoo, 
I will wash my hair with like a little tiny bit of this shampoo and try to get it as deep and close to the roots as I can when I'm washing it. And then I will go in again with the shampoo and I will like slather it. And you'll notice the second time you go in with it, it like foams up completely different than the first time. And it really cleans my hair, gets all of the buildup out. And I just feel like anytime my hair has been the healthiest it has ever been is when I'm using this. Like I said, there's other shampoos that I've used, I love. I usually use this in combo with like purple shampoo, but this is so good. Always something that I will come back to, this shampoo combo is great, especially if you're trying to start a hair journey and like me, I'm trying to get back on my hair grind. This is where it's at. More to do with hair. I used to use It's a 10. I still, like I have nothing against It's a 10, but I have been using the Your Mother's 10 in one All Eyes on Me Hair Perfector. This is like basically the same thing, except for I really like the smell of this. I like the smell of the other one too, but I have been loving this lately and this is what I put in my hair when I get out of the shower. And again, on my hair journey, this along with all the other hair oils that I've been using, I love this and I have, have been using this and I definitely would recommend it. Day is something that all of us love. And I actually am just now thinking, why haven't I repurchased the day hair oil? I love that stuff too. I ran out a while ago and I never repurchased, but now that I'm thinking about it, next time I go to the mall, I'm gonna repurchase. This is the day fairy duster dry shampoo. Got this, I have a couple of them and I love how, I just don't feel like I'm using aerosol. I just like the idea of it not being aerosol, putting it in my hair. I don't know, I've heard rumors that dry shampoo can cause cancer and it's not very good for you. This is a baby powder vibe. <laughs> I used to use baby powder as dry shampoo and this is kind of giving that same vibe. I like the mister on it. I'm not gonna do it because I don't need the dust everywhere. But if you've been thinking about trying this, every time I went in, it was sold out, but I just kept on trying. I ended up ordering it online and it came to me no problem. Leela actually broke the first one I had, so I ended up buying a second one. And when I'm out of this one, I will take the cap off this and put it on the original one that I bought so that I can use them both. But this apparently is supposed to be like four dry shampoo bottles in one. And it has been, it has been holding up to that. It is gonna last me a very long time. Honestly, do not need two of these because I feel like this will last me like a million years. A couple more beauty products that I wanna talk about. These are my second bottles of these because the first ones were so good. This is a new brand that I have been trying and loving. They originally sent it to me. I did repurchase and I will continue to repurchase. This is the Scene Dermatology Designed Won't Clog Your Pores Skin Caring Face Wash for super sensitive skin. Wow, that was quite a mouthful, but I just like read the whole front. This is the brand Scene. It's fragrance free and I have been loving this. I feel like my skin has been really good on this. I don't know, I don't break out a ton. I feel like I haven't really broken out a bunch for a while, but I just like the idea of using a non pore clogging ingredients on my face, but also something that is healthy for it. There's no dyes in this. I don't know. Their packaging is even, let's see, their packaging is even used from recycled bottles. So this is the same brand. This is the body wash from the same brand scene. It's again, Dermagel. It's again dermatology designed and it won't clog your pores. I know that some of my friends who have had a ton of breakouts and issues with pore clogging ingredients have actually switched to their shampoo and conditioner from this brand. I have not tried that so I cannot speak to that, but they also use everything else from this brand and they love it. Anyways, I just love this brand. I love what it stands for and I feel like it has just overall really good clean ingredients in it. Let's see. Healthy for the skin, no compromises. Body wash replaces hidden ingredients and pore clogging ingredients with fresh, balanced, and clean ingredients. Non-irritating, formulated without sulfates, silicones, parabens, dyes, and it's not animal tested. It's gluten-free and vegan. There's just like so many good things about this and I feel like it works really well. I like how this lathers on my skin. I like how this lathers on my face. Enough said about it. I love this. I will continue using it and I will repurchase it. This is my new probably go-to. Still within the beauty realm of things, this will change your life. If you're on a hair journey, I am the Turby Twist. I've had this one for quite a while. I need to buy another one because whenever I put this one in the wash, I'm always like panicking when I can't find it. But this is just like a towel. It is supposed to be better for your hair. I don't know if you knew this because it took me a while to learn this, but when you use towels out of the shower on your hair, it's actually really bad and damaging. This one is actually good for your hair. It's the Turby Twist and you can use it on wet hair. It's not gonna break your hair. It's not gonna damage your hair. 
You can get these at Target. You can get these online. They have them in a ton of different colors. <laughs> I love this. I use this whenever I get out of the shower and I let my hair sit in it for as long as I can. And then I will blow dry it or sometimes I just don't even blow dry it. Then I gently brush it out. Your hair is like most vulnerable. It's easy to damage your hair when it's wet. And so this protects your hair and will keep it growing healthy while you're on your hair journey. Can't recommend this enough either. I didn't want to show you the actual product because I feel kind of weird about it. I don't know, maybe eventually I will make one, but I just talked about this on TikTok. It's the Flex Cup. And I know some people use the Flex Disc. I'm actually going to get that next and try it out. I've been using the Flex Cup for the last few months. Love it. No more tampons. I don't know that whole movement on TikTok. There was like, it was trending everywhere where tampons were toxic. It was coming out that tampons were extremely toxic and it inspired me to make the switch when I eventually got my period back after having a baby and I have been loving it. I feel like my periods have been lighter for one, don't last as long, but also I, I haven't gotten any cramps. I haven't gotten any back pain and I just like the idea of not having those toxic, harmful chemicals in my body. So if you've been thinking about trying this out, this is your sign to go to Target or find the link below and buy yourself one of these cups and give it a try. I've also heard really good things about the disc. So if you're thinking about trying that, this is your sign for that too, because I will be getting that next and I will be trying it. This is another thing that has been trending a ton lately. And I just want to say I have had mine for three or four years and I love it. And it's just now I feel like blowing up all over social media, but this is the Ionic Bio Ionic Long Barrel Curling Iron. I didn't use it today because my hair is straight, but this is my favorite curling iron, especially if you have long hair, this is gonna be so good. This gives you those great curls that are very trendy right now, but I like to use it like this, curl my hair, you pull down and bring it out a little bit, curl, pull down, bring it out a little bit and do that all the way down. It just brings the most perfect curls to my head when I'm putting heat on my hair. Obviously you guys know I love the heatless curls situation, but in need of a new curling iron. This one is a little bit pricier than just laying a cheap one somewhere, but it is totally worth it. I've had it for years and it has held up a very great. You can see there's like no damage anywhere on this and it is so good. So if you're looking for a new curling iron or you're looking to upgrade your curling iron, this is such a good one. And I recommend just like everything else I'm talking about here. Of course I recommend it because I'm talking about it in my favorites video. I believe that this is the last beauty product before we move on that I want to talk about. This is not cheap. You can find cheaper ones on Amazon. And if I can find a cheaper or a dupe, I will link it below. This one is pretty pricey, but it is a red light mask. And immediately when I started using this, I noticed a difference in my skin. I had gone through a phase where I was breaking out a little bit during pregnancy, started using this. Insane how quickly the bacteria on my face or whatever was causing the breakouts was gone. I also used to be really insecure about, had a lot of fine lines and pretty deep wrinkles on my forehead. And I mean, I still have a little bit of crow's feet, a little bit of lines, but by no means are they very bad. And I feel like it is this that is a cure-all for them because I used to get Botox and I obviously, when you're pregnant, you're not supposed to get Botox. So I felt like this kind of changed the game for me there. And I'm not saying I'll never get Botox again because I 100% totally would, but I just don't feel that need to like run out and go get it. And I'm not like conscious about my forehead lines or like crow's feet or anything like that anymore. And I feel like I'm just embracing the more natural look, but also because this has been a game changer for my skin. I feel like I'm not breaking out. I feel like my skin is glowier, younger looking, and I really haven't been doing anything else that different. So I feel like it's gotta be this. This is from Sun Home Saunas and it's just their red light mask. So I'll link this one below, a couple others that are really good. And also if I can find any dupes on Amazon, I will link those below too, because I know my friend was looking into getting one for her massage business and just like adding it in as a perk. And she found some that were a lot cheaper on Amazon. So I will find that as well. Mm -hmm. 